<coughs> truck is done. I uh, just got it finished. Uh, it's about 9.30 at night. Um, just got everything finished up. Got the fuel tank on, roll bar, and tires and wheels on, and everything like that. So she is done. Looking pretty good. I uh, can't wait to get out and break it in and everything like that. So nothing like a new truck. So um, build went pretty well. Uh, wasn't really any other little tips and tricks. I was trying to trying to give as many as I could or as I thought of them. Um, the one little thing that I prefer to do on these trucks um, is HPI actually in their fuel tank design has a small nipple that is uh, connected to the top of the fuel tank uh, it's got a little reservoir up there around the filler neck and uh, the bottom of the tank is a small nipple uh, slightly larger than what the normal nipple for small 332 nitro uh, fuel line is um, so unfortunately it makes it a little difficult but um, you can generally get the soft silicone nitro line to stretch over that nipple um, and uh, that's what I do uh, I put a piece of fuel line on that on the bottom side of the tank and then they conveniently give you a drip hole that normally the tank would just drip through um, I don't necessarily like it because you got windy conditions or something like that and you're fueling up or something like that or at the track there's a lot of vibration tanks moving around um, it normally just ends up on the chassis plate. It almost never goes straight through the hole. So I like to run that little piece of fuel line and run it down through that hole and just run it down flush uh, with the bottom of the chassis. It comes out right in this corner right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right at the tip of my finger. And I just kind of baloney cut the end um, just to help help pull the, uh, pull the fuel out uh, quickly so it just drains right out right away. So um, And I got an exhaust deflector on it, just an old piece of junk exhaust deflector. I haven't decided if I'm going to run one or not. I think I'd uh, prefer to actually fabricate a small exhaust for this thing. So, so, but that's onward upward. Um, the new uh, the new wheel hubs are kind of nice. The new 17 millimeter wheel hubs. Um, those are kind of cool. And the new uh, nylon lock nuts have a large large shoulder on them. And it's a serrated shoulder. And then it's actually got a shoulder on the inside that actually helps um, actually helps support the wheel on the axle shaft so all the load is none of the load is directly on the axle it all goes through the axle nut and uh, goes through the uh, hook uh, hex hub so it's a pretty cool design a little bit stronger a scale buggies have used it for a while so um, so truck came out pretty good Let me, uh, flush suspension travel can't wait to get it out and get her driving that sort of thing so should be pretty fun but enjoyed the hell out of the old one so I'm sure I'll enjoy this one uh, hooked up the servos and everything and, and got the radio running um, seems like the steering servo I had works pretty well um, and actually and here the servo seems like it's going through full travel. Well, it's actually the servo saver that's a little soft. So I kind of wish that spring was a little heavier. If I take some of the weight off it, or if the truck's rolling, um, it actually uh, it cleans up a little bit and actually will move. So, oh, the other thing I wanted to wanted to mention is uh, when you're gluing wheels, chrome wheels. Uh, don't stack them before the glue has dried for at least 24 hours. Um, I made that mistake. I haven't had chrome wheels in a long time. I don't really like chrome wheels. And, uh, yeah, they turned white. So that chrome, that CA glue eats the chrome. So um, so don't do that. Uh, make sure if you're gluing wheels, uh, don't stack them on top of each other until they've been dry for about 24 hours. Uh, and then it's safe to stack them. So. Otherwise, everything seems like it went okay. Um, I'll just show you this real quick. It's uh, the Hobby Cobalt watch. You can see the LEDs flashing there. Um, that mounts really nice in that box, so that'll be really nice to have that. Um, and then on the other side, I forgot to mention, it was somewhere in here. 
there's a little rubber plug right up at the front of this radio box. They actually give you two plastic pieces that screw into the top of the radio box. Uh, and it's a mount for a three pin um, receiver pack charge adapter. So you can actually mount a three pin servo connector with the two uh, positive and negative wires wired into it. Um, and you can wire it before your on off switch um, and actually charge your receiver battery externally. You don't have to take this top cover off. So I haven't w wired that up yet. Uh, I need to go to. Uh, go to my current workplace and uh, get my soldering soldering iron and solder and everything like that and I'm gonna solder that up but that is to come um, that is not a tonight occurrence so so yeah so that's it she's done I'm gonna snap a couple of photos of it and everything like that um, told you I ordered the uh, color for the body so that should be coming in uh, Probably about uh, Tuesday. And I actually need to trim this to the back of the body because I did. Uh, that's another cool feature is with the upgraded roll bar. Um, they do give you the option of another uh, heat sink protector kind of piece that goes around this back side uh, and actually comes down and braces with this rear mounting body mount too. So uh, that's a really nice piece. I like that. Um, good job on that one, HPI. So it makes it a lot of. A lot easier and a lot safer than just the old zip tie method and stuff like that, so not too bad. So it works. So anyway, so that's uh that's about it. Uh, so I'll get some uh, running videos of it and stuff like that. Um, down here uh, in Carbondale alone, so <laughs> not uh, <laughs> probably not going to be too high quality of video. Probably going to be driving and shooting video at the same time, but uh, I'm sure we'll get some video set up so got a couple of buddies with some cameras down here so we'll get something for you that's about it so breaking it in uh hopefully starting tomorrow and should be able to get it finished tomorrow so should be good looking forward to it i'll uh, keep you all updated bye